has come. Because it says that we should be saved from my enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which is swear to our father Abraham that he would grant us that being delivered out of the hand personal personal of my enemies might serve him without fear the lord is talking about you fears in the night gone fears of occultism gone fear of juju people gone fear of something coming from the village gone Fear of something coming from the river, gone. Fear from your place of work, gone. Fear of poverty, gone. Pray fear of whatever they said, whoever said it, gone in Jesus' name. That you will grant unto me. That you will grant unto me. That I be delivered out of the hand of my enemies might serve him without fear in holiness wonderful now the time has come you are going to be holy holier than you ever thought in your life you have been seeking can i be holy can i be holy grace will come in your life Power will come in your life. The kind of holiness that will surprise you yourself. And you'll say, is that me? Is that me? I'm talking about you. I said I'm talking about you. In holiness and righteousness before him. All the days of our life. That's redemption. You are going to have total redemption. And it is the promise of God, the promise of Christ. And it is coming upon your life. Look at Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Reading from verse 13. God has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Every curse is taken off your head. Every curse is taken out of your education. Every cause is taken out of your business. Every cause is taken out of your family. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us, he has carried everything away. For it is reaching, cause it is everyone that hangs on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. I'm going to go back to the beginning of verse 14. I need to make this one personal now. That the blessing of Abraham might come on me through Jesus Christ and that we, I, might receive you are going to receive something tonight. I said you are receiving something tonight. You might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Was delivered us, was delivered me from the power of darkness. Don't go away yet. Look at all the things they are talking about. Grandma spoke about that. Grandpa spoke about that. Those wicked people, those wicked powers, powers of darkness, see what they did. See what they did. See what they did. And they buried something there. And they hid something there. And they did one sacrifice there. The Lord has singled you out. 
out of that family under oppression, under a curse, under depression. And they say, they always die young. You will live long. Because it says, he has delivered us, me, from the power of darkness. And yes, there is a, don't read everything yet. There is a spiritual aeroplane. And the Lord puts you inside that aeroplane. And where there's trouble, translated you out. Calamity, it translated you out. Sickness, it translated you out. Oppression, it translated you out. And it took you to the heavenly places. All the mountains, that spiritual aeroplane flew over them. All the valleys, that spiritual aeroplane flew over them. All the ditches, all the traps of the devil, all the snares, that aeroplane flew over them. And it landed you onto victory. Landed you in success. Read that thing again to see now if you understand. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness. And has, and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. In whom we have we have are you going to have it by and by 10 years to come next year when do you have redemption when do you have deliverance when do you have healing when do you have your miracle when do you have freedom See, it says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. When will he forgive your sin? Of course, it's done. Now, Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, reading from verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. The grace of God that bringeth forgiveness has appeared unto all men. The grace of God that bringeth conversion has appeared unto all men. The grace of God that bringeth healing has appeared unto all men. The grace of God that bringeth deliverance has appeared unto all men. It's appearing to you. It's appearing to you. And the moment you embrace it and take it, that grace is yours tonight in Jesus' name. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and what they lost, we should live soberly. Now I can be sober. Righteously, now I can be righteous. Godly. Now I can be godly when I said when in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Look at this. Who gave himself? Who gave himself? Who gave himself for you, for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works coldness is driven away from your life living a so so life I'm always tired always weak Lukewarm, anemic, no backbone, no stress, managing life. Look up at me. 
that thing is gone. A life of excitement, a life of joy, a life of zeal, a life of power, a life of authority, a life of authority and excitement and enthusiasm. A life when all the enemies and all the enemies of progress, they clear out of your way in Jesus' name. I could not stand, I could not sit, I could not bend, I could not talk, I could not hear, I could not confront anything in her. And I'm telling them, leave me alone, leave me alone. Don't worry about leaving you alone, they have left you alone already. You will stand and you'll be strong in Jesus' name to purify a peculiar people unto himself, zealous of good works. I'm talking about you tonight. Something has happened to you. Revival in your soul. Revival in your spirit. Revival in your heart. Revival in your body, revival in your prayer life, revival in your family, revival in your business. You will be happy to live. That's the end. That's you know. I don't know whether I want to live or not. I want to die. No, this time not. Nobody wants to die now. I said nobody wants to die now. The strength of the Lord will carry you through. The power of the Lord will carry you through. Because the blood of Jesus is washing you tonight. It's cleansing you tonight. It's redeeming you tonight. And it wants to purify you to be a peculiar person, a peculiar child of God. You'll be zealous of good works in Jesus' name. Point number two now. The present restorer and restoration. In this present day, the present restorer and restoration. Thank God, everything you lost before is going to be restored today. Everything you have been wishing, I wish I could have that. I wish I could get that. Tonight is the night of restoration. Isaiah, Isaiah, I'm reading from chapter 57. Isaiah chapter 57. I read here from verse 18, Isaiah chapter 57, we're reading from verse 18, I'm waiting for you, this one is so good, you must not miss this, Isaiah chapter 57, look at verse 18, I have seen his ways and will heal him, I will lead him also and restore comforts to him and to his mourners something left your life and you are mourning you are sorrowful you are sad cheer up I said cheer up restoration has come tonight that's it I tried to grab it I lost it and then my mates are now far ahead of me you'll catch up with them because it says, I have seen his ways. I've seen his regrets. I've seen his problem. I've seen his challenges. I will heal him. You're healed tonight. I will lead him. He'll lead you tonight. I will restore comforts unto him. Chapter 58. I say chapter 58. Verse 8, then shall thy light break forth as the morning. Thy health shall spring forth speedily. Thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be the rare word. Then shall thou call and the Lord shall answer. Tonight, a night of answered prayer. Tonight, a night of receiving miracle. Tonight, a night of manifestation of power. It says, then shalt thou call. Who is this talking about? 
I said, who is this talking about? Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, here I am. If thou take away from the means to be the yoke, the putting force of the finger, and the speaking of vanity, if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity. Darkness will be driven away from your life. Confusion driven away from your life. Weariness taken away from your life. And thy darkness shall be as the known day. The Lord shall guide thee continually. And satisfy thy soul in drought. And make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. Like a spring of water, whose waters fail not, and they that be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. Your life will bless many generations. Your ministry will bless many generations. Your impact will flow into many generations. And thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge. You'll be a repairer. Your own life is repaired. And then you turn around, you repair the lives of other people. Your family is repaired. Your projects repaired. Your business repaired. And now you are going to give a helping hand to all the people. You'll be a repairer. And then the restorer of paths to dwell in. The restorer of paths to dwell in. Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30. I read from verse 17. Jeremiah chapter 30. Verse 17, restoration. I said restoration. Look at verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee. Is she there? Did she come today? Is she there? Did he come today? Health restored. Strength restored. Deliverance restored. Dominion restored. God said, I will. When he says, I will, nothing can hinder him. The name of that sickness does not hinder him. He has said, I will. And tonight is that night. For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds. Internal wounds, I will heal thee of thy wounds. That external wound, the sore that have been there for many years and refused to be healed tonight, sore dry up in Jesus' name. Also, Internal wound. I cannot eat anything that has pepper. I cannot eat this. I cannot eat that. Be healed in Jesus' name. I will heal thee of thy wounds. Since they performed that operation, you are going to give birth. And now the wound has been there. And the wound has continued. I dress it. I dress it. I dress it. Tonight you are healed. That wound will close up in Jesus' name. You are kind of vomiting blood. And then you went to check up. Oh, they say there is wound inside. And since that time, they gave this medication, that medication. And the wound is still there. Look at me, look at me. You are healed. I said you are healed. Look at number 17, I will heal thee of thy wounds. 
says the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. But the chain, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places. The city shall be builded upon our own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry, I will multiply them. They shall not be few. I will also glorify them. They shall not be small. The children also shall be as aforetime. Their congregation shall be established before me. I will punish all that oppress them. You are free. You are coming to something new you have never seen before. Verse 22, and ye shall be my people. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Restoration. Restoration. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 26. Isaiah chapter 1. We're reading from verse 26. And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Joel chapter 2. In Joel chapter 2, the Lord is promising you that restoration has come. Look at it from verse 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. When will that happen? Are you sure? Can you say like Job, I know. The Lord will do great things tonight for me. Verse 22, be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth a fruit. The fig tree and the vine tree do yield their strength. Be glad then. Be happy then. Rejoice then, ye children of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil. Verse 25. Read it yourself. One, two, three, go. Did you get it? Is that for you? I said, is that for you? And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. The canker worm. The, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you 
and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know, ye shall know, ye shall know that I am the beast of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people, and my people, and my people shall not be ashamed. Verse 32, verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord have said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. We know it has happened. I said it has happened because of the promise of God, because of redemption, because of restoration. Now Joel chapter 3 verse 10. Joel chapter 3 verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, let the sick say, let the poor say, you are strong. You are healed. You are delivered. Look at verse 21. Verse 21. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. I will do what I have not done for them before. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. You have come to that Zion. And in that Zion today, you have your miracle. Obadiah, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. Obadiah, verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess my brother you will possess your possession my sister there you came to possess tonight you will possess your possession number one the promised redeemer and redemption number two the present restorer a restoration. Number three, the prompt response and realization. The prompt response and realization. The Lord is going to respond promptly tonight to your prayer. As you open your mouth like this, and then as I pray to seal it up, prompt response for you tonight in Jesus name the watch is now somebody shout now shout that again look at I say look at I say I say chapter one now for me it's now for you it's now Prompt, response, and realization. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Tell me the first two words there. That's prompt. Come now. And let us reason together, says the Lord. Do your sins be as scarlet? They shall be as white as snow, 
and though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Your salvation is now. The cleansing is now. The forgiveness is now. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Your mouth will be full. Your life will be full. Look at 2 Corinthians, New Testament. 2 Corinthians, chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 2. Prompt, response, and realization. 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 2. For he says, I have heard thee in a time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, tell me the word. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. It is now. Forgiveness, it is now. Healing, it is now. Deliverance, it is now. Miracle. Power. Transformation. Plenty. Prosperity. It's coming to your right there. Look at Acts chapter 16. Reading from verse 25. Acts 16, verse 25, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them and, and uh, suddenly there was a great earthquake. At that same time, they were praying. Your answer is coming at the time you are praying tonight. That redemption, total redemption, is coming to you at the time you are praying tonight. The miracle is coming at the time you are praying tonight. It says, suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaking. Every prison door will open in your life. The foundation of that yoke, the foundation of that torment will be shaking tonight in Jesus' name. And what's the next word there? Immediately, somebody shout immediately. All the doors were opened. And everyone's bands, everyone up there, where are you? Up there, up there, everyone, 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 lose tonight. Over here, are you there? Praise the Lord. You, are, you cannot escape a miracle tonight. That miracle will come in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah, Isaiah, chapter 65, Isaiah chapter 65, I'm reading from verse 24, Isaiah chapter 65, and I'm reading from verse 24, Isaiah chapter 65, are you there? Verse 24, are you there? And it shall come to pass. It has come to pass. I said it has come to pass. And it shall come to pass that before they call, before they call, before they call, I will answer. And while, while they are yet speaking, I will hear. While they are yet speaking, I will hear the time has come 
Isaiah chapter 33, verse 24. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 24. And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. Those who are here tonight, I said all who are here tonight, the inhabitant is Zion. The members of this revival hour, the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. When is the miracle going to take place? Acts of the Apostles, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verse 44. Acts, chapter 10, verse 44. This is important, this is important, this is for you. Say this for me. Acts, chapter 10, verse 44. While Peter was yet speaking, while Peter yet spake these words, he had not finished. The Holy Ghost fell on all them that had the word. While you are praying, the power will come down. The salvation will come down. The deliverance will come down. Everything you are asking for will be done in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus Christ... The same yesterday and today and forever in your life there tonight. I said your life there tonight. I said your life there tonight. Jesus the healer. Jesus the miracle worker. Jesus the deliverer. Jesus the redeemer. Jesus the restorer. The same yesterday and today in your life. And today in your prayer, and forever, no wasting time again, you've got it. Get up and claim it, you've got it. While you are praying, while you are praying, it will be done. While you are still talking, it will be done. While you are saying, Lord, here am I, it will be done. It has started already. Forgiveness is there. It has started already. Salvation is there. It has started already. Miracle is there. It has started already. Your healing is there. While they are yet talking, while they are yet talking, while they are yet talking, I will answer. Tell the Lord, he will answer. Tell the Lord, he will answer. Today is the day of your miracle, of your healing, of your deliverance. Those yokes are broken. Those enemies are conquered. That challenge is taken away. It's there. It is there. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. You cannot miss it tonight. You cannot escape the answer tonight. It's there. It's available right there. Christ died on the cross of Calvary to give you full redemption, total redemption, complete redemption. Forgiveness is there. Say, Lord, I thank you. I got it. I turned away from sin, turned to the Savior. Lord, I got it. Redemption is there. Lord, I take it. It's there. The Lord is by your side. And he died to provide it for you. While they're yet speaking, while they're yet praying, while they're yet communing with me. He says, I will answer. Immediate miracle. Immediate salvation. Immediate forgiveness. Immediate redemption. Immediate assurance. Tell the Lord. That assurance is there tonight. 
He cannot fail. He will not fail. The same Jesus. This same Jesus is the one that comes to you tonight to heal you. That name is still powerful. That name is still mighty. That name is still glorious. He saves. He forgives. His blood cleanses from all sin. He redeems. And he takes you out of that dungeon of sin. And he puts you on the mountain top of sunshine, righteousness, and victory. Now. That's when it happens. Now. That's when it takes place. Now. That redemption is now. That deliverance is now. That healing is now. That victory is now. That provision is now. That prosperity is now. That joy of salvation is now. He has redeemed us. Redeemed us from all our enemies. Victory over the enemy. It's now. He scatters all the enemies. He breaks their jaw. He paralyzes their power. Neutralizes their poison. And he gives you freedom. Lukewarmness is gone. Coldness is gone. Lethargy is gone. No backbone. Tiredness. Wombly. No strength. Fainting, all that is gone. Revival has come in your soul. Revival in your heart. Revival in your business. Revival in your ministry. While they're yet speaking, keep on speaking. While they're yet praying, keep on praying. While they're yet asking, keep on asking. While they're yet knocking, keep on knocking. Then I will answer. The answer has come. The answer has come. That evil power is broken. Destroyed all the works of the devil. Destroyed. Yes, it's there. Yes, it's there. It's now immediate, straightway, instantaneous. It's happening right now. That cancer is healed. And the swelling that comes with it is gone. 
now. That mountain has moved. Long standing mountain, long standing problem of oppression is gone. While they're yet speaking, while they're yet praying, that's when the answer comes. Is there? This is your day, the day of your miracle, the day of your healing, the day of your deliverance. And the day of the fullness of joy in your life. Full redemption. Full restoration. Final realization. It is done in Jesus' name. You have got it. I said you have got it. I receive, where are you? I receive, I said, where are you? There's going to be a confirmation right now. Testimony in your mouth. Joy in your heart assurance in your spirit strength in your life let the weak say let the sick say let the poor say raise up those hands father in jesus name lord we thank you you have given us jesus he's our savior He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a redeemer. He's a restorer. He's a miracle worker. The same yesterday and today and forever. In the life of everyone here today, salvation in Jesus' name. Forgiveness in Jesus' name. Redemption in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray the assurance of the Spirit will be in every heart right now. The sins are forgiven. Salvation has come. Definite conversion. And the grace to live in newness of life given to them in Jesus' name. You are our healer. You went about doing good. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Because God was with you. Lord Jesus, we honor you as a healer. Exalt you as a healer. We lift you up as a healer. And you said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Deliverance for everyone in Jesus' name. Healing for everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that pain, that suffering of the sickness, come out in Jesus' name. That soul that have been there for a long time, be healed in Jesus' name. That cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Depression, demonic attack, occultic oppression, you are cancelled in Jesus' name. Freedom, deliverance, dominion, victory, 
for everyone in Jesus name Lord miracle children for the barren that couple there miracle children for you in Jesus name Lord, I pray for those who have been under any spell, under any yoke, under any curse, right now, because of Calvary, because of Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yoke, you are destroyed in Jesus' name. Curse, you are removed in Jesus' name. Depression, evil spirit attack and affliction you are set free in jesus name every mountain move away every yoke be broken all those harassments of the devil i command you stop in their lives in jesus name those who are jobless, Lord, I pray, provide real, real jobs for them. Yes. To my right, to my left, in front of me, at the gallery, everywhere, victory, success, progress, joy miracle healing deliverance anointing that breaks every yoke confirm it lord in every life thank you because we know you have done it in jesus name i pray and somebody shout if you have got it, I said you shout. Testimony in your mouth. Testimony in your mouth. And songs of praise coming from your mouth in Jesus' name. Let the weak say. Let the sick say. Let the poor say. You got it. It started as a mustard seed, growing beyond the mountain creed. It's an astonishing movement indeed. Men receiving astonishing miracles. Women reunited with a joy they once lost. Youths revived and good to go. And children blessed beyond measure. Bill Nushan Pai. Bill Lufera Sokila Promise. He will do everything he has promised in Jesus' name. Claro, Seigneur. Yes, it's true. Your personal gift from a loving father is loading from Africa's west coast. This is Abundant Life through Christ. Live from the peaceful land of Lome, Togo, West Africa. 16 to 21 February 2023. 1600 hours GMT daily. Our Father in the faith, uniting people to God. The Kavena of GCK. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Hello, Ferrara. That means he will do it. Featuring Spirit Field Ministers and Professionals Conference, Super Scintillating Impact Academy for Youth, Young Professionals, and Young Adults, with special guest music ministration by Luke Ingram, GCK to the world, their satellite, and all our social media platforms. GCK, it's the gospel to every creature. Join us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? I say, Praise the Lord. 
Aleluia. People of God, if you are online in this prayer conference, I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord God Almighty, in his power, in his love, reach out to every one of us, even tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. And I believe in God tonight that God of heaven we visit every one of us because tonight the Lord in his power will perfect everything in your life even at this month of February in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not be the same again. Mm. The Spirit of God will minister to every one of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Can you hear me now? Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you because you are the eternal God. We bless your name because of your greatness and your power that will not fail. We thank you for how you have preserved our life in the previous month. We appreciate your faithfulness. We appreciate your love. We appreciate your power. We appreciate your grace. We appreciate the dominion you give to us. We bless you. Father received all our praises and thanks in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We thank you for Calvary. We thank you for the blood of Jesus at Calvary. We thank you for your power. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your mighty works of deliverance. We thank you for everything you have been doing. Eternal God, everlasting God, unchangeable God, unbeatable God, unreversible God, unconquerable God, the I am that I am, we ask, yes, we yes, pray yes. that even tonight your name will be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are believing you that your spirit and your power will take absolute control even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are Amen. praying and we are asking that the power of the Holy Ghost, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the spirit of the living God, we breathe upon every one of us, even as we come to the ninth prayer conference, in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Every mm. impossibility will become possible tonight. And in this second month mm. of February, I pray there will be double promotion, double power, double grace, mm. double anointing, mm. double upliftment. You will mm. give everybody double blessing, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. The strength we need, 
the power we need, the grace we need. In this prayer conference, I pray, O oh God, release your power of supplication and the spirit of grace upon our life, upon our hearts, so that every one of us will be able to tarry in your presence in Jesus' name. Amen. We Amen. pray that you will help us as we tarry tonight. The grace of God will work mightily in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' Amen. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want us to emote ourselves in this prayer conference because when we come to prayer, we come to re pray. And tonight, we are going to pray. So, therefore, I want you to open your voice, open your mouth, and begin to appreciate God. Thank the Lord for the grace over your life in the previous month. Thank the Lord for His grace over your life.